Comitsat provide satellite observation data to support the weather community in improving weather forecasts and warnings and monitoring climate change. The work that UMETSAT does is critical to the economies and societies of Europe. Good weather observations underpin accurate forecasts and warnings and help societies mitigate the impacts of severe weather. It is very important to give uh, our member states and policy makers worldwide a handle on what is actually changing in our world. UMETSAT operates two kinds of spacecraft. We have our geostationary spacecraft, which operate at a very high altitude, and they give the big picture. They can see about one third of the Earth's disk from where they are. The other kind of satellite that we operate is called a polar orbiting spacecraft, and this operates much lower down. They obtain the detailed information. Add those two things together, you get a detailed big picture. At the moment, our data archive spans about 40 years, and that amounts to about 10 petabytes of data. In the next two to three years, we will be at 50 petabytes. So we have an absolute monstrous increase of data volumes. We are collaborating with our cloud-based services with the European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecasting. We form together what we call the European Weather Cloud, so that if users use that cloud system, they have access to the UMITSAT satellite data, but also to all the model information that the, the ECMWF hosts. In order to make good weather forecasts, you need global observations. And Europe is providing global observations, but our partners in the United States or in China or in India or in Japan are also providing this type of information. SSG is the UMITSAT Polar System second generation. It's going to be a vast amount of data we can work with and to be able to retrieve variables that we haven't been able to retrieve before. MTG is MetroSat third generation. That is the next generation of the UMITSAT geostationary um, satellites. One of the novel payloads we have on our MetroSat third generation spacecraft is a lightning imager. This is a, a really innovative technology that hasn't been done effectively from satellites before. And it will be a, a, a way of adding to the data set that we have for weather forecasting. So we have the imaging satellite and we have the sounding satellite. For the first time allowing us in a geostationary orbit to do a 3D visualization of the atmosphere. With more diverse observations, better spatial resolution and temporal resolution. Combining this new data with the past data, we will for sure uh, be able to monitor our planet in a much more efficient way. At UMITSAT, we have to convert the raw data into information that can be used in applications for our users. And this is not only done here at our premises in Darmstadt, but also in a distributed manner within our member states. And this network is what we call the satellite application facilities. One could refer them maybe as centers of excellence, and they have specialized on certain application areas of satellite data, so a numerical weather prediction on hydrologies and others. Copernicus is composed of a number of families of satellites. The European Union has given to UMETSAT the role of operating their sentinels, which are the name of the satellites of the, of the Copernicus satellite, which are observing different parameters of the Earth's environment. One big component of the work we're doing for Copernicus is operating ocean satellites. We're operating Sentinel-3 and Sentinel-6 missions, including many other satellites that will follow in these mission constellations. And soon we'll be operating even more satellites in future that have roles in both ocean, climate and atmospheric composition. UMITSAT is a great place to work because you contribute to, to protect life and property from severe weather. For me, it's really important to be part of this big picture and to be part of uh, having contributed to something that has a key role in the protection of our planet. I think people um, outside the building maybe aren't as aware of our data as maybe they could be, but the fact that the food arrives on people's table, the fact that the weather forecasts are correct and there's grit on the roads when it's icy. People, they see the impacts every day.